Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for February 14th through the 20th, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore may not resonate with everyone. If it's not resonating, please check your other astrological signs and placements and see if those readings resonate a little bit better. If you would like a personal reading, there are directions beneath this video in the box um, below. So um, simply email me and I'll get that set up for you. Also, keep in mind in a general reading that the timelines can be fluid um, and as energy is fluid and also roles can reverse. So don't let that alarm you. If you find that the energy of the reading is resonating with you, but you're, you're on the opposite side instead of you know, the side that you thought you were going to be on, just go ahead and flow with that. Um, don't let that alarm you. Also, don't try to, you know, block yourself into a reading that is not for you. If it's not resonating, just take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? So, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull your energy. I'm going to pull the energy of the person you're connected to. I'll pull the energy of the connection itself, and then we'll pull the outcome at the end of the week, all right? Um, in addition to that, go ahead and get a question in your mind, if you would. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to pull the eight, one of the, or three actually, of the Angel Answers Oracles and see if we can get a answer for your question. Um, I've gotten really good feedback on the other signs with these, and so go ahead and get a question in your mind, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, Sagittarius. Can I get the energy of Sagittarius, please? Third week of February. Energy of Sagittarius. Energy of Sagittarius. My goodness. Well, that just went flying across the room. I don't know what you got going on. Let's see. My goodness. Okay. So let's see what you've got going on that had to fly all the way across the room, Sagittarius. All right, so, well, you got changes, all right? You've got the Wheel of Fortune here, and these are changes you've waited on. So I see with the uh, Three of Wands that these are changes that you've been waiting for, and I feel like you're kind of looking expectantly into your future, um, and, you know, you're kind of waiting for your ships to come in, and this is a good thing. So I think that you are feeling more positive. You feel like things are moving more in, in you know, a positive direction for you, and so this looks very good. Um, now down at the uh, at the bottom, I do also see that coming out together, what what took it upon itself to fly across the room, um, we have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So I do think that there is a little bit of an energy here of you feeling that the things that you most desire might be a little bit elusive. You know, like you, like you may be feeling as if, you know, the, the things that you really want in life with this Nine of Cups, the things that make you the happiest, like they're just like slipping away from you. Like you can't quite get what it is that you want. So, but that seems like it's changing for you, you know, but there's still like an underlying almost, um, sub, I wouldn't say subliminal. It's like, um. It's like a residual. I would say a residual feeling from something from the past. Like like it's just kind of underneath your your conscious. Like it's subconscious. This feeling that, you know, that the things that you most desire are just elusive. Like you can't quite get to them. Okay? And so you might even be a little bit on guard with that. All right, but I do see that overall you're kind of looking towards your future a little bit, you know, more optimistically and things that do seem to be changing in your favor. So let's go ahead and look and see at who you're dealing with, Sagittarius. Show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Oops, something else turned. What is it? There we go. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. 
All right, so the person you're dealing with, um, I feel like they're at a crossroads here and they're kind of looking at moving into a new direction. It's very interesting because um, the person that you're dealing with, they have the two of wands, you have the three of wands. So you've already made this decision to move in a new direction. Um, and now you're kind of expectantly waiting for things to come your way. You know, it's like you've sent your intentions out and you're waiting for things to come to you. The person you're dealing with is now in the process of sending their intentions out. So you guys are pretty closely aligned, but I would say that the, you're a little bit ahead of the game. Um, they have also the eight of pentacles in the reverse. So this person may have experienced some losses. Um, possibly um, with regard to finances. Um, it could have to do with work. They may be finding that work is a little bit difficult for them right now, or they may um, just find that there's certain things with regard to finances that they're having some difficulty with. Um, or it could be that they're feeling as if, you know, relationship is not really working for them right now. But they also have the Ace of Pentacles. So, there's, there is either um, currently or in the very, very near future going to be a big turnaround. So the Ace of Pentacles can be either a windfall of money um, or it can be a brand new beginning in relationship. So again, there's some mirroring going on here in that both of you have this feeling that things have not always worked out well in the past and yet you're both looking expectantly towards new beginnings. So that's nice. There's a, this feels like new energy and it does feel, um, it feels very positive. So let's see the energy of the connection. All right, so we have the Hermit in reverse. So this is the, again, um, shared energy and it feels as if um, the energy of someone who has gone within They've tried to find answers. They've tried to do some soul searching as to why things weren't working out, what was going wrong, and they've come up with some answers. They figured some things out. So I feel as if, um, you know, th these are two people who have both done their own soul searching and now are coming together, um, each with their own answers for themselves. So this is nice energy. What is the um, what is the energy of the what is affecting the connection? What is affecting this connection? What is primarily affecting this connection? The Knight of Cups. So there's an emotional um, offer here. So someone in the connection is going to make an emotional offer. Very nice. And what is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome at the end of the week? The Page of Swords. Okay, so um, with the Page of Swords, this is kind of finding out more, finding out more about the other person, finding out more about the situation. Um, for some of you guys, it can be a little bit of um, spying, and I don't say that in a negative way. It can be, you know, um, if this is a very new connection, you might be looking into this person's social media, finding out more about this person, you know, seeing who their friends are, finding out more about their family or what it is that they do. Um, so yeah, this is, this looks like a very new connection. Um, and it looks like it's very positive. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the lovers in reverse. So the underlying energy, however, is a... Um, a hesitancy to make a big decision. And I can see where that could come in as well um, because both of you may have had some difficulty in previous relationships. You've gone within trying to find answers, trying to understand all of that. And so there may be some hesitancy to, you know, stepping into a new connection. So that makes sense as well. All right, so let's go ahead now and start clarifying. Spirit, why is the Three of Wands here for Sagittarius? Why is the Three of Wands here for Sagittarius? Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. So we have some repeating energy here. Um, so with the Page of Swords, okay, so you have this now in your energy. 
So you are definitely looking um, and studying and looking into new love. And just like I said, this looks like new love. So, um, and you're expecting it. You've, you've kind of sent this out to the universe and you're waiting for it to come back and you're expectantly looking for it. Um, this is good. This is good, Sagittarius. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? All right, so we have the Seven of Coins in Reverse and we have the Eight of Cups in the Reverse. Okay, so what's changing, all right, with the Wheel of Fortune? Well, there was something that you invested in in the past that wasn't a very good investment. And I feel like it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Um, and you had a hard time walking away from that. Now, there may even be a little part of you that has still not fully walked away from that. But that's changing. That is definitely changing. And it's changing in your favor. Um, so I feel as if there's something from the past that was a disappointment to you. You have been holding on to it and now you're finally able to walk away from that because you're investing now in new love. So let's see, can I have three cards for the bottom energy? And one more please. And that's probably what I'm seeing down here at the bottom. The, um, the subconscious, you know, energy that I'm seeing. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse and the Hierophant. So what it is that you, your, your desire is to have a committed uh, relationship, a, a committed connection. And I feel as if you may have been blocked in that in some way. Um, in the past and it caused you to kind of pull back that's when you went into this hermit mode so you there was a block I don't know if it was an emotional block if it was somebody literally blocked you but there was a block and so you pulled back um, with the four swords and that's when you went into the hermit mode that's when you decided to try to find answers and there was um, there was a, a sense of feeling abandoned here um, when that happened, when this person blocked you or, or you were blocked in this connection in some form, um, there was a sense of abandonment. There was a sense of being left out in the cold. Um, and I, I feel as if, um, you know, there may have even been a sense of things being done in a sneaky manner, as if something wasn't done. For some of you, there was d outright deceit here. There was um, some cheating maybe that occurred. Um, there was some lying possibly for some of you, um, but it, for, for all of you, there was definitely something that felt as if it was just not quite done on the up and up. And I do think that you felt kind of betrayed. You kind of felt, um, you kind of felt like things weren't done properly. Um, that's what caused you to pull back. It's left an impression on you, Sagittarius, and I think it's kind of left you with this, like, underlying sense of distrust you know as far as you know commitment but i think that commitment is what you really do want now spirit is telling you that's what's changing whatever this was is what you had invested in the investment didn't pan out it didn't it didn't turn out to be everything you had hoped it would be you had a really difficult time um getting over that walking away from it that's what puts you in hermit mode but I do see that you you have you you're you're finally able to you know you sent that out to the universe that that's what you were looking for was love, and it's coming it's coming towards you now, definitely is, and you're looking for it. So that's this is nice energy. There's there's a lot of healing that's gone um, that's taken place here. All right, so now let's look at your person, Sagittarius. I think that they may be mirroring some of this back to you. Um, we have the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Two of Wands, this is somebody who's kind of at a crossroads. They're, um, they're kind of looking out to, um, they're, they're wanting to take a new direction in life. And they're at a crossroads. 
because they're not feeling fulfilled with the Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not feeling emotionally fulfilled um, and they kind of haven't gotten their wishes fulfilled. So you have the Nine of Cups over here in the upright. Theirs is over here. It's in the reverse. So, you know, they're not feeling like they're getting what they want either. Um, and so they're at this crossroads and they're ready to take this um, new direction. Okay, so they're sending this out into the universe. You've already done this. Um, I do think that they, um, with the Knight of Pentacles, they will be moving very slow. I don't see them moving in a very rapid pace um, because they're going to be careful. Now, why is the Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse? Oh, there we go. So why is this person's cards always flying? You guys, your cards are flying all into the floor. Okay. So the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is clarified by the world in reverse and the Three of Swords. So, exactly. So this person is not quite over the heartbreak that they experienced. So they've gone through something that looks very similar to you. Um, now the world is in reverse, so they haven't quite closed out a cycle that was very painful to them. They have the Three of Swords here. And so... They, for some of the for some of these people, there was a third party that happened, and that's what has affected them. But for others, it was just a very painful cycle. They're not quite over this yet, and that that loss, they're still getting over that loss. Okay, but they also have the Ace of Pentacles. So let's see, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh my. Okay. So, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Well, they now have <laughs> the Three of Wands, which you have, in their energy. So, they are also looking for a brand new start, but they're not quite ready to move forward because they have the Chariot in reverse. So, they're not quite ready, but they are, they're, they're close. So, I feel like, Sagittarius, you're a little, just slightly ahead of this person in this process, but you're mirroring each other. And they too are reaching the point where they are, you know, they're sending that energy out now in the very, very near future. They're gonna be expectantly waiting. What are they waiting for? This brand new stable start, but they haven't moved forward with it just yet. Okay, so let's see, why is the hermit here? Why is the Hermit in reverse here for the connection? Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so again, the Knight of Cups is repeating energy. So I think, um, Sagittarius, you're the one who's going to be offering this emotional offer. Um, and it's going to help this person to close down this, um, this cycle that they're trying to close out. So I think that you're going to help this person with that. Um, you have the Knight of Cups. They have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So they're closing out this cycle. And I think that this offer of emotional support is going to help them to do that. All right. So why is the Knight of Cups here? So we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Star in Reverse. So that tells me again, um, Queen of Wands would be your card, Sagittarius, because that's strong fire energy there. Um, and so that indicates that you're going to be taking action. You're the one who's going to be, you know, the emotionally supportive person in this. And with the Star in Reverse, um, you're going to take action. You're going to be emotionally supportive in order to help bring healing to the person that is on this side. And I don't think it's that you're going to be um, fixing them. It's not about fixing someone. I just think that this connection is going to help to bring healing. So this is nice. It's, it's refreshing for me as a reader to get such a nice reading because a lot of times, you know, there's a Sometimes these readings can be very painful, and this is a very sweet and very nice reading. Um, so, can I have three cards for the final outcome? Okay. All right, so we have the Emperor in reverse. 
we have the Four of Swords in reverse, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so the person you're dealing with could very well be a Earth sign. Doesn't have to be, but um, if so, that would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, but I do think you're going to be looking deeper into the situation, and they probably will be looking deeper into the situation with you as well. Um, whereas in the past, you had the Four of Swords, which means that you had kind of, you know, backed up, taken a time out in life. Um, the shared energy between the two of you is that um, healing has taken place here. And so you're both healing in this connection. And, you're, you know, there's going to be a lot of communication and healing. Now, with the Emperor in reverse, Sagittarius, be careful that you don't become very controlling because I see that you are going to kind of take charge of the situation, but when the emperor is in reverse, sometimes that can be a little bit controlling. So be careful of that. Um, if you find yourself trying to control things, kind of back up a little bit. There is the beauty of tarot that um, we can kind of see our patterns and see what we do. And it's a warning to us so that we can kind of alter the behavior if we find ourselves doing it. But I do see there's going to be a lot of communication. This is going to be a very healing connection. And I also see that you're going to kind of take charge of this connection. And um, they have the Queen of Pentacles. So um, also healing uh, for them as well. And I do see that this person is going to be very grounded. Um, and I feel as if they, they are going to be very loyal and some, you know, that's a part of growth and commitment as well. So I feel like this relationship is going to grow. This person is going to grow. And I feel as if um, this is a very nice connection. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, which indicates that there is going to be communication and passion in this connection as well. So this is a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. Very nice. Let's go ahead and um, get your question in mind. And I'm going to pull some of the angel answers. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so what we have is yes. The answer is yes. And it says you're ready. And it says there's something better. So the answer is, yes, you're ready. There's something better. So I take this that um, this is spirit saying, yes, you're ready for this connection. There's something better than what you have experienced in the past. And I would say this is for both, you know, Sagittarius and the cross watcher because you both seem to be mirroring each other. Um, it just looks like this is, you know, that you're both ready for this connection and you both are ready for, for something that's better than what you've had. So I think this is a beautiful reading. It is by far, of all the readings I've done so far, this is the best reading yet. So I love it. All right. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, also comment because I read all of your comments. I'd love to see your story. And um, also be sure that uh, you like and share the video. Until I see you next week, namaste.